So tell me, <coughs> what's your problem with fast food restaurants? They suck. This fucking ghetto ass goddamn subway right here that I would never go back into. Dumbass people that fucking work there. The way they prepare the fucking food. And the little goddamn fucking cat mustard packets. You don't like the mustard packet packets? No. You go into a fucking you go anywhere else to a subway, mm -hmm. man, they put the mustard on for you and smear it and everything. This motherfucker here gets little packets. Cause <laughs> we don't we don't have that. They don't have mustard in the tooth? No, they don't. But that's not the worst part. The worst part is that fucking crazy fucking people they got working there. The bitch was making a sandwich and answered a goddamn telephone. And here's this poor guy looking at a half-made sandwich, wondering what the fuck is going on. She's working by herself? Yeah, but it wasn't even a company phone. It was her private phone. And she stepped in the back to answer it. In the middle of making this guy's sandwich. Shit, I would reach over to sneeze guard, take my little half made sandwich, and walk the fuck out. Personally, I would have. I'm lunch is lunch. I, <laughs> I personally, I would have fucking walked out and gone to a different subway and left her there looking. Yeah, you know, why do people have such indecision about that? You know, you looking at that, you know. Me and your sister. I don't have any obligation to this half made sandwich. You don't pay for the sandwich until it's completed. Hey, juggernaut. So, what's the problem? Hello, juggernaut. Hello, face. I'm serious. I What's guess, the problem? I guess I don't know. Me and your sister were in there, and I looked at her and I said, "Let's get the fuck out." And we left. We left. What the fuck? God damn it! Looks like somebody's driving into Leatherface's damn diner. Uh, really? Motherfucker ought to chew his ass up and throw him out. Spit out the fucking bone. But you know, I don't think your hate for fast food just revolves around one experience at a one subway. We stop at the one by the vet. Guy makes wonderful fucking sandwiches. You're happy. He makes exactly what you tell him to make. They ain't stingy with the fucking oh, and they're also fucking stingy with the goddamn meat. <laughs> they are. Chuck. More meat, please. <laughs> your, your husband bought me one there a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. As soon as I opened it and looked at it, I knew where he fucking got it from. Is mm. that obvious? Yeah, it is. Little fucking hunk of bread and little, little, little slivers of sliver meat. Of fucking meat. <laughs> and them goddamn mustard packets. Okay. Let, let's let's. Not talk about sandwiches. Uh, what about other times you've gone to McDonald's or Burger King and the uh... well, for one they always fuck you in the drive thru. Always. No matter who, no matter where, no matter when, they fuck you in the drive thru. You're in your car, you order your shit, <coughs> you get your stuff, you drive home, it's either the wrong stuff, it's made wrong, or you're missing something. And you don't want to get back in the car, burn up your gas, use your money to go get a fucking nickel bag of fucking french fries. And why does this douche have plastic coming out of a trunk? Because there's a body in there. Could be, but that's no way to hide it with the plastic coming out like it's that. It's sloppy. Did they not see that? Well, you know, that lady who had her son in the trunk for seven years, she had to have been sharp. To avoid someone saying, you know, anyway. How do you fucking drive a car with a fucking body in a truck for seven years? Don't you smell that fucking odor? <laughs> you know, in the rear view mirror, she must have had like 1,500 little pine trees. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't take them off when I get rid of them. I just leave them there. I mean, really? <laughs> If you think, okay, after a while, I mean, the smell will go away because the body mummified. But still, <laughs> when it's She fresh, was burning through Febreze like nobody's business. <laughs> okay, now this fucking douche here with this goddamn truck got to be puttering along. I got shit I got to fucking do. Shut up, bus.
different one. Not yours. Bad enough I can't fucking see with the sun in my eyes. Yeah, that's the way it's gonna be thanks to daylight savings time. Um, anyway. Where was I? You were talking about your hatred oh. for fast food restaurants and uh, not no, and for the people who work in them. You know what? This whole fifteen dollar an hour shit. <laughs> Damn motherfuckers don't deserve nothing. They, they're lucky they're getting eight dollars. You can fucking train a chimp to do their fucking work. They get more than eight dollars. Does that upset you? <laughs> you know, everybody's entitled to a living fucking wage, but goddamn. <laughs> At least earn your fucking money. You go in there, you tell them you want a plain fucking hamburger, and they still put shit on it. I mean, how simple, how, how much plainer can you make it? What about the change? Oh, that's, you got to blame school for that shit. Well, that's my favorite story you have. You mean the one that couldn't make change <laughs> of a $20 bill? Yeah. The computer broke. God help, God help this world if computers ever go down. The computer broke. So I get a coffee. The coffee is 96 cents <laughs> with tax. All right. Give her a $20 bill. She looks at me, looks at the 20, looks at me, looks at the 20. She didn't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't know how to make change. I ended up having to tell her, look, just give me four cents, four singles, a five, and a ten. And I can get the fuck out of here and go to work. She looked at me, she looked at the 20 and called the fucking manager. And then the manager looked at the fucking 20 and then looked at me like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so I had to tell the manager the same thing. Give me four pennies, four singles, a five and a 10 and let me get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All that on a 96 cent cup of coffee. Why didn't you walk away from the coffee? Because I needed my coffee. Come on, the coffee. <laughs> There's more McDonald's. Yeah, but there was it's right at the highway. I was getting on the highway to come back. And I was that's all the way. probably what that poor sap was feeling in that subway. I don't know walking on that it, subway. It was, the, it was the one. Oh, god damn. Look at this motherfucker <laughs> here. Yeah, get the fuck He's out of this goddamn one. way. I guess she's going to work. Is that where the hoes be at? Over there? I don't, I don't know, but she needs to be. Get the fuck out of the goddamn way. Fuck is working as if you can't. If the computer doesn't tell them how much change to give, they don't know what the fuck to do. Well, what did they end up doing with your 20? They gave me exactly what I told them to give me. I could have told them anything, they would have done it. Because they didn't know. Give me four 20s and let me get out of here. Yeah. They, they, did, they had absolutely no clue what to do. I mean, really? You can't fucking count money? I mean, if you don't know anything else, you should at least know how to count your fucking change. But they don't. They don't know how to do that shit. And don't get me started about Arby's and the goddamn bacon strips. <laughs> Pay five dollars for a sandwich. It's supposed to have roast beef and bacon on it. Open it and it's got three tiny strips of bacon on it. Then you go inside and you tell the fucking guy, yo, know, this is wrong. So he gives you roast beef and he puts a strip of fucking bacon on it and says that's what that's all you're getting. I like, get the fuck out of here. Just give me back my money. <laughs> fucking douchebags. <laughs> and he was the manager. And he was the fucking manager. And didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. I said, this is what I ordered. It's supposed to come like that. See the picture? <laughs> well, this is what it... Oh, fuck you. Just give me my money. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You remember that? Yeah, I know. I wish I had been inside for you to say, look at the fucking picture. I said, this is what I ordered. I showed him. I said, this is what I ordered. This is what I got. 
I almost went to jail at Blimpies. Oh, oh. oh it was when uh, my husband's in the hospital. An agent said, you got to come down here and eat. And I really didn't want to eat. Oh, so, well, you were in your right mind. No, I wasn't in my right mind. But when you work but then at a again, hospital. But then ever are in your right well, mind. I know. But when you work at a hospital fast food place, you got to understand that people are there not because they want to be. People don't drive up, you know, you know what? I know where there's a good Blimpies. It's in the hospital. Right? Yeah. So I'm asking her what bread y'all got. And the bitch just points to the wall. And I almost went over the counter. Adrian, I, I slammed my hand on the counter and Adrian said, um, she'll just have the Parmesan bread or some bullshit. I don't even remember what happened after that because Adrian came out and she said, you don't need to go to jail while Chuck's in the hospital. They have so fucking stupid, man. The customer service is out the fucking window. They can't do things. I mean, they really can't. A dummies. Fucking douches. And it's only getting worse. How so? It's only getting worse because they're getting stupider. That's how. <laughs> I didn't think that was possible, but yeah. Meaner and stupider. Oh! In the papers today, the Republicans. Jesus Christ. The Republicans are trying their best to figure out how to get Trump out of the fucking picture. And their only fallback, plan B, is Ted Cruz. Good fucking luck. Oh, God. He He's did. the same as Trump, only he doesn't run his fucking mouth as much. He did look like Eddie Munster. No, no, Grandpa. He did like Grandpa in that little video. That was pretty clever. I thought. And all these fucking people, Jesus Christ, they all, Donald Trump is going to be their new savior. I don't understand these motherfuckers. Racist fucking pigs. Okay, you got to go. I got to go get Max. Thought of the day? Thought of the day is fucking wake up, America. What the fuck is wrong with you? What is wrong with America? To think either one of those two should be a president. God damn. Where's the good fucking people when you need them? Go. Time to go.